Hello, everybody. Andrea Majewski here. I hope you don't mind the costume. It's Halloween week, so why not? Hope you guys can still focus and listen to what I'm saying. Okay, so let's talk about how to write goals for your portfolio. I know writing your portfolio is the most overwhelming thing ever, but just remember you have decided to write the portfolio because you didn't want to study for the exam. So just have that in the back of your mind. It will be over soon. You can do it and it will feel great when you can finally submit it. Okay. Okay, just remember that. So how to write goals, whether you have all of your courses lined up or like most of you, you probably don't, you probably still have to take some courses to get your, your hours in. Remember it's 75 hours over the three years that you must have, there's no exceptions. So how to write goals. Think of what you want to learn first. So let's say you don't have any courses. Let's say, because some people don't, that's okay. The first time I wrote my portfolio, I had hardly anything. Um, I, have, I have submitted my portfolio twice, so it has happened. Um, think of what you want to learn. So I mentioned in a previous video, silver diamine fluoride. That's what everybody's talking about right now, hopefully. Um, that is an amazing thing. If you haven't heard of it, you should definitely look into it. Start doing your research and write a goal on silver diamine fluoride. So some goal examples could be, I am interested in learning about silver diamine fluoride and how it arrests decay. Remember to keep the goal specific because you don't want to say, I want to learn about silver diamine fluoride and help and how it can help all patients in my practice. Yes, that does sound great and that sounds normal, but the CDHO wants you guys to be specific. So let's say you were thinking that. To be specific, you would say something like, I wanna learn about silver diamine fluoride and how it arrests decay. So that's one. Or you could say, I wanna um, learn about silver diamine fluoride and how it arrests decay in primary teeth. I wanna learn about silver diamine fluoride and how it can help my clients who cannot seek dental care immediately. So be specific, think nursing homes. I wanna learn about silver diamine fluoride and how it can help patients in nursing homes. They love you to be specific. So let's think of other fun goals. Um, another example could be, well, we are in a pandemic, so you could definitely write a goal about that. You could write a goal about, let me think, I probably should have thought about this before I did the video, but do you guys get the idea so far? Even, you know what I'm going to do? Let me pause this for one second and let me help you guys think of some goals on the spot. So this will be fun, just one second. There you guys, sorry about that. So I, I just wanna share my screen and I wasn't sure if I could pull it up right away. So I love to use the website at um, vivalearning.com. So that's where I am now. This is where I literally take most of my online courses. I use the CDHA, I use the CDHO and I use Viva Learning because there's always something new. I'm a dental nerd, I love to learn. So let's just come up with some random goal examples right now. So I like this one. So can everybody see this? I'm sorry, I should probably zoom in more. Um, okay, it says 200%, but it's not zooming in. Ah, there we go. So look at this first one. So maintaining dental unit water lines in the era of COVID and beyond. So let's just come up with the goal right now. So you could have a goal like, I'm interested in learning more about water line maintenance for the dental office. Let's say you are thinking of becoming a mobile dental hygienist. You can say, I am learning, I am interested in learning about dental unit water lines. Um, specific to a bottle system, because if you're a mobile dental hygienist, that's the system you would use because that is what you would be carting with you. Do you get the idea? So this is a great example of working backwards. So I did a video about working backwards of coming up with the goal if you just honestly don't have any. Find courses that interest you, take them obviously, and then this is how you will come up with your goal example. So let's say that was your um, goal, um, something about dental unit water lines. Oh, sorry guys, that's my dog. There's actually a storm right now um, and my dogs don't like storms, so I'll probably get off this soon and kind of make sure they're doing okay. So let's say you have written a goal about water lines. Oh, here's one dog. Oh, hi Daisy. Say hi. There we go. She likes to come on my desk. <laughs> You guys can just fast forward this if you're not interested in seeing my dog. Okay, there Daisy, say hi. Okay, so see how I did a search you guys for water lines? Click enter 
And then this will give you additional courses because for every single um, um, goal that you have, you can't just have one course, right? You need multiple courses. So let's say you literally take all of these. So all of these, thank you, Daisy, would be considered your learning activities. And then your goal is based upon that. So isn't this awesome? So this is like literally one course, two course, three course, four, five. So you can keep on going and learn all about how to maintain water lines. So let's go back there just to give you guys another example of just coming up with a goal on the fly. Let's just kind of scroll down, keep things interesting. Um, let's see here. Now you guys are obviously dental hygienists. So we want to look for that. Actually, this is cool. I think I'm going to listen to this one. So setting up your ideal whitening practice. I actually teach a teeth whitening course to get dental hygienists, dental assistants, um, even those who just, just own a salon, how to start teeth whitening. So this will actually be neat for me to listen to. Let's say you want to start doing teeth whitening in your practice. So you can say, I want to learn more about the different teeth whitening options out there for patients. Or to be specific, again, say I'm interested in learning more about teeth whitening um, and the products that reduce sensitivity. So this could be a very easy course right here. Now it is talking about setting up your own practice, but you can, you know, still think to yourself, okay, I want to be the best tooth whitening person in my in my dental practice that you work for and do whatever you possibly can. So let's say that was one of your goals. Then do a search for whitening and there will be more courses coming up. So you guys, all of these take more courses and that, um, sorry, those will be your learning activities. Do you understand that? See, so it doesn't have to be hard. So that's what I suggest everybody do um, is to look at vivalearning.com. Even if you don't wanna take those, those courses to get ideas for your courses, for your goals, for your learning activities, because for each goal, you want more than one learning activity, right? You want to show the CDHO that you have really tried to learn and you're interested in learning. So thank you guys so much. I will talk to you in the next one.